Hello, welcome back to Eclectic Alu. Um, thank you so much for liking my videos and for subscribing. I really appreciate that. I, I feel like that's helping my channel a lot and I'm so grateful. Somebody asked me today how to get your energy back after, I didn't say after, I used it said, after being drained and like, that's exactly how you feel. Like you feel drained, like you are no more energy or love or anything there you're just numb and done and you're you feel just like there's nothing else there there's not a drop of energy there and so one thing you need to do in my opinion my humble opinion is this don't be too hard on yourself because Everybody talks about healing and you need to do this to heal and go and yes, this is so important and we need to do that, but first there's a stage or sort of a phase that you go through. It's not short and it's not too long. It depends on you and during that phase what victims of abuse do is usually see that they're they were victimized actually. Sometimes we are a bit afraid of saying victim, the V word. <laughs> Is that the V word? To say victim and to be victimized. But in reality, that's what happened to us. It's really what happened to us. What's good to do after being drained like that is to first see yourself as a victim. Have compassion for yourself at the beginning at least so that you can learn and learn about what these characters do, these personalities do, and the cluster bees do, um, which is they suck all your energy from you. So that's why you feel like that. And it's not because you had a choice, really. Um, it happened because they studied you from the beginning and you didn't know you were playing this game. It's like you were playing a game, but you didn't know you were playing. So by the time you realized that you were playing a game, it was too late. But you've been idealized, you've been devalued, and you've been discarded. Normal people don't go through these stages in, within a relationship with somebody that they love. And so you've been through this roller coaster. You've been there for too long, and that it's not good for you and we've talked about the trauma bond and all that so you've developed a trauma bond and CPTSD most likely and um, you have lost sort of your self-esteem and your identity and all that so give yourself some credit for getting out of this craziness and just relax feel everything that you need to feel if you are sad, please cry, do cry, be sad. That's incredibly, incredibly powerful and healing as well. And if you're angry, be angry. And I was seen my video about anger. And I mentioned I have a punching bag there. And I truly use it. I do. And it works, it's great. Uh, but not because I'm like, Durr. you need to exercise you know you need to exercise it could be yoga it could be going for walks in nature I'm repeating myself all the time but that's golden to go for walks in nature because nature is healing all the, the plants the trees and everything is healing a pet having a pet so take it one step at a time and you will get your energy you will surely get your energy. You are this empathic person that is strong and that has been uh, manipulated and deceived and betrayed. And so just imagine what, what would happen to... Um, imagine this... Another person. Think of another person with your qualities. Another person that is kind, that is nice, that is empathic, that is understanding, that is patient, that always wants to help. So imagine this wonderful person and imagine that somebody betrays them, first tells them they are great, the next day they, they tell them they are average, the next day they tell them, oh, you have so many 
uh, flaws and the next day they're back again at being the best and so and then they're manipulated without them knowing so think of yourself imagine yourself being another person and wouldn't you give that person a break like you don't need to heal right now you can take your own time and wouldn't you take care of that person do that for yourself so self-care that's why we use self-care a lot of self-care exercise eat good foods nutritious foods that are good for you especially protein and drink, drink lots and lots of water because that's flushing and will flush your system from cortisol and all the the chemicals that are swimming around <laughs> right now that will give you all the energy just take care of yourself be compassionate with yourself the person i just described that's you so you need to be very very careful with yourself take care and love yourself but it sounds cheesy but really love yourself as you would love a child for example or somebody that you need to take care so that's healing and empowering but it's not magic and it takes time what's important here is for you to understand that you've been through thick and thin that you've been mistreated that you've been abused and you were a victim but you will no longer be a victim you, you understand where i'm going so at first you, you need to know that you were victimized you you were a victim and you were played and conned and manipulated and all that so there's no point in denying that you were a victim and you were because that's part of the healing process it's not your fault victims of abuse need to know that it's not their fault there's nothing you could have done differently um, this happened and you will learn from this that's the best way to go learn from this and move on and you will move on it sounds difficult and something maybe unachievable in the beginning but you will and you will be so happy and so full of energy i can assure you that one more thing i wanted to say oh about the love you thought one of the things that it's so important to know is that you thought that this person loved you you thought that that person was the love of your life more importantly and you also thought that that person was perfect for you and you idealized them as well. Know that that person, the illusion, it was an illusion and it wasn't real. And so you need to mourn the loss or grieve and all that because it's sort of like when somebody died, but in this case, nobody died. A relationship that an illusion died, the, the, the idea you had about this person died and that's what we're mourning you know and that's what why we're so sad and you need to go through that but after only after you go through all that sadness and anger and ups and downs it's not too long maybe less than a year and you will feel good again once you start feeling better with more energy you will start working on your CPTSD and you will start working on different aspects of your life and you will regain your energy. I think that's how it happens. But, but the main thing here is that it's important to know that you've been through abuse and it's a lot to take, okay? It's not an easy thing to go through. So give yourself some credit and self-care, no contact as always and a lot of compassion for yourself grieve and be sad and all that and then you will feel better progressively believe me that happens so yes that's all for today's video i hope i can see you in my next one please subscribe and like the video and that helps me a lot to spread the message and so yeah thank you so much for being Bye.